Today I arrived in Japan. Uh, see, check it out. Welcome to Japan. I'm with my family and we're staying at Prince Shiba Park, which happens to be very close to Tokyo Tower. Now, I know this channel is usually about video games and we will get into that. I mean, we are in Japan, but uh, I just wanna give you some general tips and make this as travel bloggy as possible. Japanese convenience stores are absolutely amazing, and uh, let's get into why. First things first, I really just think there's a ton more food options at a Japanese convenience store, and generally speaking, that food is far more delicious than its American counterpart. There's also like a million snacks and everything just seems new. This snack right here is from a long-running show called Crayon Shinchan. Uh, my kid really likes that show, even though he can't really understand anything from the show. The snack itself tastes a lot like uh, Cocoa Puffs. I don't actually know the last time I saw a baby bottle pop in the US. Now the first drink on my drink counter is this uh, Wilkinson Pink Grapefruit Extra. It is just a very large bottle of uh, pink seltzer. It's great. They have this uh, Pepsi Big Zero. I think it's basically Pepsi Max, but it's, uh, you know, branded very differently. If there's anything ridiculous that I would ship from Japan to America, it would definitely be a vending machine. Fun fact, for every 25 to 30 people, there is a vending machine in Japan. The convenience stores and vending machines both speak to Japan's convenience culture. I would say in general, don't just always rely on a convenience store for every meal, but if you're trying to do a lot of things in one day and you just need to stop in and you know get moving, by all means, go to a convenience store. I'm not a huge coffee fan, but in the pursuit of uh, trying a whole bunch of different new things, this Boss Coffee was delicious. It had a little cream, a little sugar, and uh, it was great. My kid still drinks a lot of milk, so I actually picked up a bunch of milk clouds there. Google Translate will be your friend when it comes to picking the right milk though, and I'm pretty sure this one actually says whole milk on the back of it. By the way, if you're into hot coffee and not cold coffee, they have these little sections of the store that have hot coffee. It's a little weird coffee being in aluminum and hot, but it works. If you've ever watched a Shonen Jump show, you might not know that the manga actually comes in these weekly periodicals. Now everything in this is pretty much black and white, but it's only uh, 290 yen for this, which is, you know, roughly like a dollar eighty and like there's just so much content here it's uh wild the average cost of a comic book in the u.s is four dollars and 19 cents per comic book but if comic books came like this i think i would actually read comic books the paper quality in this is kind of like a newspaper but it's just a very interesting way to deliver comics to people and i think part of the main reason that comics are just so popular you know in japan it's also just kind of neat seeing readily available manga like uh, One Punch Man just chilling here. Also, as a side note, I do know in Japanese it's pronounced manga, but uh, I'm just going to keep pronouncing it manga because that's how I've always said it. Most of the places you could go to eat breakfast open at around like 9 or 10, uh, and uh, you know, my sleep pattern's way off, so I'm waking up at like 4 in the morning, so I picked these up so that I could, you know, eat a quick breakfast and then go somewhere that's actually open during the day. The hotel I'm staying at is called the Shiba Park Hotel, and they have this big book by this uh, photographer that they uh, keep changing the uh, photos in uh, which is really kind of cool the room we were in was smaller than an American hotel but larger than like a Times Square hotel we're starting the day off with some CC lemon which is like very sour sprite uh, the Simpsons actually did a whole bunch of commercials for them back in the day you also probably don't need to buy your water but I bought a water anyways and uh, yeah it was water tasted good I basically never drink soda with sugar in it when I'm in the US but uh, while I'm in Japan I think I'm gonna get whatever this right here was some sort of crazy energy drink and it was like drinking a Red Bull that was uh, this big. Not bad, uh, but it was, uh, you know, a lot of energy for this early in the morning. I love getting onigiri or rice balls from uh, convenience stores. They're always delicious. Now, a lot of people talk about the onigiri, but not a lot of people talk about the egg salad sandwiches. I don't know how to describe this other than just like perfect. The bread is great. The uh, sandwich consistency is perfect. I don't even like egg salad when I'm home in the US, but I just can't get enough of these while I'm abroad. Well, anyways, I'm gonna take my uh, chewing gum here and head on over to the Tokyo Tower. Hey, out here at Shiba Park, next to Tokyo Tower. That's fun, look at that. Good times, great country. 
Now inside of Shiba Park on the way to Tokyo Tower is this giant Buddhist uh, temple. And that's just something you'll find in Japan all over the place. You'll see like super modern structures uh, right next to ancient Buddhist temples. You should definitely go to some of these places, but always remember, these are like uh, religious places, like a church. And you may end up smelling like uh, burned incense. We got to Tokyo Tower just a little bit early and they seem to be filming some sort of show. Uh, the guy in blonde is uh, the star, I think. I don't know, but I'm not too familiar with live action Japanese shows. I got my first, hey, uh, don't film here. And so I stopped filming. Now there are other places that you can see the skyline of Tokyo. Uh, we just happened to go here because we were just so close from our hotel. It kind of reminds me a lot of uh, going up to the top of uh, 30 Rock. There is some significance to all of this, uh, historically speaking. This is a radio tower, I believe. These uh, two pictures talk to each other like uh, Harry Potter style. And uh, the conversation is just, uh, hey, uh, we should build a tower. And the other guy says, yeah, that'd be cool. I could do that. And then the other guy says, but can we put an observation deck there? And then they're like, yeah, totally. Awesome. Uh, but yeah, that's what this interaction is all about. You get on one more elevator and then go all the way to the tippy top of the top observation place. I've spent a lot of time working in skyscrapers looking at, you know, beautiful vistas, but it's never lost on me how uh, small we are when we're at the tippy top of one of these places looking down at all the uh, little people living their lives. Fun fact, this is actually a TV station. It's super duper far away and you can go into it if you want. I went 16 years ago. Well, that's enough uh, Tokyo Tower for now. Another fun fact, pretty much everything has a mascot here and some have multiple. While I was walking across this getting this shot, there was this lady that was like laying on the ground taking a picture of herself, of her like uh, falling from an angle. She was like 70 and I couldn't help but think right now is the youngest I'll be for the rest of my life. Every day I get older, so I might as well take pictures and do stuff now uh, and record it so that I'll remember these things I did when I was younger. Well, anyways, that was Tokyo Tower. Hour. I've never gone, so I'm kind of glad I went this trip. It was an early morning thing I can do uh, before I went and did the rest of the things I wanted to do. I know I drink a lot of soda on this trip, uh, but this is, you know, spread out over some time. Fun fact, they don't actually have Diet Coke. They have uh, Coke Zero, and a special flavor that they had while I was there was K-Wave, which I assume is like K-Pop flavored, which uh, I have no idea what K-Pop flavored actually is. Tastes like mango bananas. While I'm in Japan, I'm going to be filming the entire time. And let's just say there's a lot to cover here. From game hunting to arcades to uh, losing at arcades over and over again to uh, going to Disney. Why not? And uh, you know what? Some other travel stuff. The last time I went to Japan was actually in 2019. And I really didn't feel like I filmed enough that time. So. Uh, I kind of went overboard, but really this is just Japan from my angle, which is uh, kind of a weird angle, but it's it's my angle. So if you like what you've seen so far, just remember to subscribe and like so that, uh, you know, you can see these as they come out. I'm going to be trying to release these every Monday, uh, but uh, we'll see if I can keep up with that schedule.